Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Kate Bonnie Country, and I'm Kate Bonnie. Thank you so much for stopping by. Come on in and have a seat. I hope you are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time you're watching me. I hope it's fantastic. Your support means everything to me, so please give this video a like, ring that subscribe bell, and leave a comment. Maybe even share it with your friends and family. I redid my hair. Thank you for noticing. It's now purple-ish. I bleached my hair three times, but the red just refused to come out. So I just ended up going with purple over it, and it turned out uh, kind of interesting. I kind of like it. It's it's different. Uh, so this is not the video I planned for this week. I had something entirely different in mind. In fact, I actually have four videos lined up. Four? Four. Four. Four videos. And I just haven't had a chance to sit down and get them edited. My life has been really crazy hectic lately. I'll get to that at the end of the video. Anyway, today we're talking about the Star Wars Battlefront classics. Now, I was born in 1972, so I grew up as a Star Wars fan. I watched the first three movies being A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi in the theaters as a child and I had all the action figures with their tiny little guns because you know there were no choke hazard warnings back in the day so it was perfectly fine to allow three and five year olds to play with action figures with tiny guns that they could swallow luckily I never did I swallowed a penny once but that's a different story uh, I played with the toys. I absolutely loved them. It was a major part of my childhood and my imagination play was based on Star Wars action figures. So about 20 years ago, and uh, please ignore all that background noise. My air conditioner, it's hot in Alabama right now, and my air conditioner kicks on, kicks off, and there's really nothing I can do about that background noise. It it, it antagonizes me all the time, but there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. And about, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago, roughly, Star Wars Battlefront was released. And I loved that game. I spent hours playing it on my PC. I loved Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 so much that I actually bought the discs so I could play them on PS2 once I got a PS2. And I wore those discs out. Even though I still have the PS2, those discs are no longer readable. There's nothing I can do. I cannot play those games anymore. So when it was announced that Aspire, Pandemic Studios, and LucasArts were coming together to update and re-release the classic Star Wars Battlefronts, and I got so very excited about it. So our anniversary is coming up, and Doc Dillinger, being the sweet man that he is, decided he was going to purchase those games for me for my anniversary. And we were going to sit down on the couch, play the split screen, just like I did 20 years ago. Well, it didn't quite turn out that way. So the classics were released yesterday, March 14th. We had work to do, so at the end of the work day, everything was done. We had dinner, we're going to sit on the couch and play Star Wars Battlefront. We sit down, we power up the Xbox, we load the game, and we get the intro screen, play Battlefront 1, play Battlefront 2. Well, I'll just let you watch this part. It is recording. There you go. There's a controller. Yep. So, there's the three line button. So, of course, you know. We can't get the games to run. We cannot get the games to start. Very, very disappointed. So anyway, Doc Nillinger sits down and starts trying to 
figure out what's going on and why it's not. And I'm online tapping, typing on my keyboard furiously, trying to find answers, trying to find answers and figure out why our game's not working. And everybody keeps telling me, you should just be able to launch the game and play. We're not having tr controller connectivity issues. Must try restarting your console. All kinds of little tips like that. Well, well guess, guess what? what? We did have to register. So, Doc Gillinger restarts the Xbox Series X. He goes back through. He's finally able to get that register link to work. Registers the game to a throwaway email. And then he comes back to the game. And it launches. And it recognizes his controller. Great. Wonderful. We scroll down to the split screen menu. And this happens. Okay, so maybe now I need to register my account as well. So, of course, we exit out of the game, and he signs out of the console. I'm signed in. I go in. I launch the game. I register it. I go through my launch screen. It's recognizing my controller, and guess what? Now it doesn't recognize him. I'm so depressed now. We really wanted to have that experience of sitting on the couch and playing a game together in split screen mode. That's how we play together. We play Call of Duty Zombies, we run different NASCAR games. If there is a two player split screen mode, we're going to play the game. We play one on one on the couch and that is something that a lot of the modern games are missing. Everything is this online multiplayer universe. Whatever happened to sitting on the couch side by side with people in the same room as you are? I miss that. I want that back in my games. So the split screen will not work. It just won't work. So if anybody can figure out how to get split screen work, please let me know. Otherwise, all I have to say is, well, Aspire ruined my anniversary. Well, not entirely. You might notice I have some new lighting. Doc Dillinger bought a ring light for me, so I can better light my pretty face on my videos. Now, back to that update I was telling you about. Life has been really hectic for me lately. That thump you hear is Tamir playing with one of her rope ball toys. Anyway, the point is I've got so much going on in my life right now that Getting videos produced and posted on a weekly basis is putting way too much stress on me. So I am no longer going to have a set release schedule. I want to spend the time to produce the highest quality videos that I can. Tamir, if you hit me with that thing, I am going to absolutely... Come here, girl. Come here. Tamir. No, I guess. Anyway, I don't want to produce... I don't want I don't want to put out poor quality videos. I mean, I can only do what I can do with the ah, I can only do what I can do with the equipment I have. But that said, but I do want to produce the best quality videos that I can. A lot of times I'm rushing through their production because I've got 50,000 other things to do. So going forward, it might be 10 days or two weeks between videos from me. It really depends on how in-depth the video is. My hopes are that by producing a better quality video, even if it takes me longer to get them to you, that that you will continue to support my channel and view my videos. And that's pretty much all we have for today.